The investigation into an early morning fire at Stephanos Brooklyn Pizza in Harlingen. This is all that you're going to be seeing now that's left of the building. The flames roaring through around 5 this morning. Channel 5's Stephanie Rosales joins us live. And Stephanie, uh, you spoke with staff members today. One, they're grateful that no one was hurt. And then secondly, they're thinking about others in the community. They do, and this was much more than just a paycheck for the staff here. They loved serving the community and enjoy talking with their guests. Many of the staff members left just hours ago. They were here since early this morning, holding on to whatever they had left. Also to offer support for the man that continues to offer support for people in the community. Basically, that's what we are. We're a family. Um, we're always together. I mean, it's kind of sad seeing this, you know, I mean, I didn't expect to wake up to this this morning. Jason Medellin was scheduled to work at 1030 this morning, but he says around six, he got a call that the restaurant he's worked at for five years was on fire. He couldn't help but voice his support for the man who built it all. He's a, he's a tough man, never seen him tear up. Um, this was his baby, this was his business. Um, he put in so many years and so much time into this place. Um, you know, not just for us, but for everybody so they can have events, so they can have a place to go to celebrate. Stefano's Brooklyn Pizza has been around for seven years, but before that, the owner, Steve Eddick, started making pizzas at a gas station. He built that up to around 65 employees at a location once known as Lone Star Cafe, with the staff happy to serve the community. I enjoyed it. I love the customers that we had. All our customers were family. That was my my soul, my everything to I got to share with everybody. Now the staff left without jobs just days before Christmas. They prepped themselves, but I know it's, you know, the situation that we're in right now is, you know, it's not the best. I mean, who knows what's going to happen. I do know him. He said he's still going to help us out. I mean, it's going to be tough. You know, it's going to be a tough couple months. Um, uh, Money-wise, of course, um, you know, this is the time that we all make, you know, great money. It's the holidays. The owner, who was too overcome to speak on camera, told us that even today on Monday, they had hundreds of people waiting to serve with reservations booked a week in advance. Manager Christine Castillo says it's the connection and support with the people that made them come back. I think it's his generosity, his kind heart that made this place what it was. And everybody that worked here saw that. And with that, I think we grew. And Castillo also expressed confidence that this is only a temporary setback. Let everybody know that we are going to be up and running again, bigger the better. And so everybody come back and join us and eat some pizza and pasta and have a great time. Many people from the community have been coming by to show their support. Manager from Sam's Club even stopped by to drop by off some, some juice, um, some drinks and some food, even some boots for the owner. He says that Steve is a good friend of his and he always shows his support for the community. So he just wanted to do the same back. Live in Harlingen, Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News at 6.